There are several different ways to add links to content when you are building your lesson in S'more. The first one I'm going to show you is probably the easiest. So here in our activity section, we are um, wanting the students to go practice their skills in IXL. And there's five different skills they're going to practice. And I want to list those out as five different links for them to follow. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is bring up that skill in IXL exactly where I want them to go. So this is 01. And I'm going to come up here and highlight that URL and copy it to my clipboard. Now I'm just right clicking with my mouse um, or you can go to edit and copy. I'm going to copy that to my clipboard. And then I'm going to come here and s'more and I'm going to hover over the section that I want to um, be above my link. So my link's going to end up right below this. And I'm going to click that little plus and I'm going to embed link. That's going to bring up a little box that I can paste my URL into. So I do that and I click embed and it shows up right there. It gives them the title, it may give an image and a description. You can't change what shows up here, it's just what information it's able to pull from that website. So I can add links in like that um, which makes them nice and bold and gives a lot of information there. Another thing I could do is I could take text that I have typed in and turn it into a hyperlink. So, for example, in this box I have little links throughout. You can see I've already put some in. But let's say I want extra math right here to be a link as well. Again, I'm going to need to open up the website that I want to link to. So I'm going to open that in a new tab. I'm going to come up here and copy that URL. I'm going to return to my S'more lesson, highlight the text that you want to make into a hyperlink, and then click this little link button. Then I'm going to just paste my URL, just like before. Click link, and ta-da, that is now a hyperlink to that particular website, and I can click done. Okay, now there's one more way you can add links, and that's with using a button. So I want to show you how you can make a button that will take them to a website. But at the same time, I also want to talk to you about how to add files into your um, S'more lesson. If you have any sort of handout like a PDF or maybe you made a PowerPoint slideshow that you want the students to look through, um, those kind of things, you're going to have to add those into Google Drive first um, and then you can link to them in your S'more. There's no option in S'more for you to just upload a file directly into S'more. So you're going to have to put it in Google Docs, make sure the sharing settings are right, get a link that you can put into S'more. So um, again, let me close this out. Let's say that I want to give the students a page where they're going to kind of brainstorm um, math games that they can play or board games they can play that involve math. So in my drive, I've created a Google Doc and I want to give them access to this um, in S'more. So I've created it. I need to go over here to my share settings and I'm going to go to advanced. Right now it shows that it's private, that only I can access it. I want to change that. I want to make it so anyone who has this link can get to it. So I'm going to choose this option and I don't want, in this case, I don't want them to just be able to view it. I also want them to be able to edit it. So I need to check both of those permissions to make sure that my students will be able to get to this. And then I'll click Save. Now it's giving me a link to share with others, so I can copy that. Now I'm going to come back here to S'more, and I'm going to add a button this time. So I'm going to come down here to the bottom, and this, this option is only available in the bottom. It's not available in this little quick menu. You'll see that button's not one of your choices. But if I come down here, I can click Button. I want this to say, um, Brainstorm Games that use math, something like that. Here's where I can paste that URL. Now this is very, very important. On my other link options that I showed you, it will automatically open it in a new tab so that the students can just close it when they're done and they'll be right back on their lesson. With a button, you have to tell it to do that. 
by checking this little box. And that's very, very important. Otherwise, students will start to get confused because everything else has opened in a new tab. But with that, if you don't have this box checked, they'll have to use their back button to get back to the lesson. They're likely to just close it out and then be lost because now they have to get back to your lesson. It's really important that you check that box. And then if you want to give any um, description, you can um, fill that in in this box, but that is optional. Something like that. And then you just click Done. That's what a button looks like. Um, and then this button, when they click it, will link them right to that Google Doc that I wanted to take them to. Um, this then I can drag around and put it wherever I need to in my lesson. Because since I'm adding it from the bottom, it will show up at the bottom. I have to drag it to where I really want it to be. Okay, so those are three different ways to add links into your lessons. Um, this button or any of those other ways of adding links could also be going, like I said, to um, anything in your drive as long as you have set the drive settings appropriately so that somebody who clicks on that link is going to be able to get to that document. As always, if you have any questions, make sure you reach out to me.